series of surrenders. Meet the characters. Nick, the first death. Nick and I met at university where we were studying drama and education. In time, we became good friends and then best friends. He was the one I sought company with each day and the man I had fallen in love with. Nick had a mass of dark curls, arm and brown eyes and a cheeky grin that begged for tricks and playtime. Nick created a sense of himself that played in public and another that he knew to be the real him. The public young man was often at tricks, arrogant in his place in the world, and tuned those around him to his liking. The inner world of Nick was tortured and twisted in shame and sorrow that he wore as a cloak of disguise. At first, I was not attracted to him as a kissing potential. I was more interested in what made his grin clip in that way and what was he hiding as I sensed he held a secret. Looking back now in memory, I imagine I saw his shadow and was in awe of it and how it played out in his life. The details of our unfolding friendship and eventual falling into love live now in the midst of memory and reappear as ordinary moments. Playing cards on the carpet, scraping together dollars to buy beer or a butt of green pot to smoke, listening to music and sharing time with others. I can still see myself sitting on the front steps of Ferrell Street, waiting to see that yellow car spin around the corner. I know our relationship was at first slow and built a moment at a time with much laughter, silliness, challenge and the exploration of our developing selves. It was in those many ordinary moments that the cloak was pulled away and trust was built.